Welcome, welcome to the Lakers News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. During the NBA season, the Los Angeles Lakers faced numerous challenges, struggling to find consistency and dealing with injuries to key players. However, at the NBA trade deadline in February, the team made several trades that had a significant impact on their performance. These trades brought in players who played crucial roles in the team's turnaround and surprising run to the 2023 Western Conference Finals. One of those players was D'Angelo Russell, a talented veteran who was acquired from the Minnesota Timberwolves. Russell had previously been drafted by the Lakers in 2015, and his return to the team generated high expectations among fans. In the first two playoff games, Russell showcased his skills and appeared to have convinced the organization that it would be worth making a strong effort to re-sign him in NBA free agency. However, things took a drastic turn during the Western Conference Finals against the Denver Nuggets. Russell had a subpar performance in the four games, committing crucial errors and struggling to find his rhythm. His underwhelming display led to him losing his starting position in Game 4. This sudden downturn in his performance has shifted the team's perception, and it is now unlikely that the Lakers will aggressively pursue his re-signing. After the season concluded, rumors began circulating that the Los Angeles Lakers are focusing their efforts on pursuing other renowned point guards in NBA free agency. Names like Kyrie Irving and Fred Van Vliet have been mentioned as potential targets for the team. In this context, D'Angelo Russell could end up playing a crucial role, as his availability in a trade could facilitate the acquisition of a new impact point guard who meets the team's needs. Therefore, while the Lakers may not be interested in re-signing Russell at this time, they believe that other teams will be interested enough to consider a sign-and-trade deal. This strategy would allow the Lakers to acquire an impactful player for the point guard position while creating salary cap space to accommodate a new signing.